are you off your head? Oh my Jesus, what are they doing? What a load of rubbish. But before we get into this video, I just want to tell you about some Sheffield United football frames. You can get one for each of your favourite players. They are £10 for A4 frames and £15 for A3. With very fast delivery, you can get your Dean Henderson, you can get your Billy Sharp, you can get your Ollie Norwood, you can get your John Flight. So click the link in the description right now to own one for yourself. Lads, 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 in good nick here. Back again for another Sheffield United video. As you can see by the title, it's a completely off the cuff video as I've just seen a tweet that got me quite excited. Well, I did get excited about a week ago. That is when I actually recorded this video and it's taken me this long to upload it. But anyway, back to the video, Nick. But the tweet slash story was brought to us by our good friends at The Star newspaper. So of course it's gonna be a load of shit. Yeah, I stand by that statement. Well, except James Shields because he talks a lot of sense and he's the reporter for Sheffield United. If you're not from Sheffield and you've got absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, the Star newspaper is the main Sheffield newspaper. Now anyway, the reason why I got so excited about this post is because the Sheffield United team are very inexperienced, full of young players, full of players that have been in League 1 and League 2, not much championship experience between them. Oh yeah, and 30 plus year old players who are coming towards the end of their careers. So you would think that none of these players have got massive price tags on their heads. However, the way that they've been playing, they deserve so. So, this is going to be quite interesting. But I've got to say, every single player on this list should definitely have increased in price from when we bought them, 100%. Because Chris Wilder knows how to get the best out of his players. And I've got a feeling that I'm not going to agree with any of these. Obviously, you've got to say that Egan will be the same. Because we only bought him for 4 million a few months ago. So, we think that's going to be the same. However, the rest of them, I've got a bad feeling that this video is really going to annoy me. Just to let you know, I have not already looked at these. So, this is going to be brand new information. Later. Right, we found it, finally. So let's get straight into it. So here we go, we are on the Star website, and here it is. The market value of every player in Chris Wilder's 39 million Sheffield United squad. Does that mean that every player adds up to 39 mil? It must do. Which I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Anyway, let's crack on. So, Jack O'Connell is the very first one on the list at 5 million. 5 million? I don't know how they worked that out because... Was it... Wait, wait, wait. Jack O'Connell. Jack O'Connell Brighton. 6 million bid for Jack O'Connell. And I'm sure they put in an 8 million bid for him. So how is he worth 5 million? You tell me. So that's Jack O'Connell and I've not agreed with the very first one. Next we've got Gary Medine who is at 4 million. Is that right? How much did Cardiff sign him for? Cardiff signed Bolton player for 6 million. So how is he worth 4 million all of a sudden within like six months. Daft. So Gary Medine is our second most valuable player. Star, you've not got this right all, have you? Let's be honest. Then we've got John Egan at four million. Hey! The star have got something right. They've thought about it logically. Wow. But to be fair, they can't just say that these players... Like, why has Gary Medine gone down and John Egan said the same? John Egan's had a quality season. So if Gary Medine's going down for not playing any games for Cardiff, then John Egan surely got to go up for being quality this season. Anyway, let's move on. Ollie Norwood, 3 million. In the current climate of championship football, Ollie Norwood 
should be worth at least seven or eight million in my opinion because that boy has got techers free kicks his passing is unbelievable he's great on the ball he can shoot what more could you want he orchestrates all the play quality player worth way more than three million but i'm sure we signed him for an undisclosed fee at around two million so yeah we've got a good deal whatever happened next oh We've got to move on to the next page. So, here we go. Kieran Dowell, 3 million. I have no idea because I've literally seen Kieran Dowell play about 10 minutes of football. So, I've got no idea. He's come from Everton, obviously. I don't know if he's ever going to go back and play for Everton because I don't think they seem to care about him. So... Three million. I can't really, can't, I can't really have a have a say on that one. John Flake, one point five million. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? John Fleck is only worth one point five million. Are you off your head? Unbelievable. There is no way in this world we would ever let John Fleck go for anywhere near. 1.5 million I would say at least if we were going to let him go again 7 or 8 million I don't think he's worth that I think he's probably worth about 4 or 5 million maybe 5 or 6 never 1.5 million look what are we are we in 2000 here unbelievable and and just looking at the screen right now Marvin Johnson number 7 so Marvin Johnson is above uh I'm not even going to go into it. Apparently he's above Mark Duffy. And Dean Henderson. It's just crazy. Paul Coos. All these players. I don't get this. Anyway, Marvin Johnson is apparently worth the same amount as John Fleck. Just let that sink in for a moment. Unreal. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's just going from worse to even worse. What? Connor Washington, even though QPR let him go for Zilcho, apparently Connor Washington's worth 1.5 million. Said who? I would pay probably half a million for Connor Washington, and I'd still feel like they'd pull my pants down. Anyway, who's next? This is crazy. Oh, next page. <sighs> who is next? Richard Stearman, a million. So Richard Stearman is worth more than Chris Basham. Oh my Jesus, what are they doing? How can they possibly think that Richard Stearman is worth more than Chris Basham? Apparently Stearman's worth a million. End of his career, not getting any games, a million. I'll tell you what, if someone offered a million for Richard Stearman, I think that Chrissy Wilder would snatch their hands off. Anyway, next, come on. David McGoldrick, a million. Possibly, possibly, yeah. He's at the end of his career, he's playing some really good football, to be fair. Again, he's probably worth more than that with the way that he's playing. He's uh, right up towards the top goal scorer's table. He's scoring for fun. He's, he's playing really well with Billy Sharp. And that brings me on to Billy Sharp, because I can see him right at the bottom of the screen there, number 11, worth a million. Um, yeah, possibly. I'd probably have to say two or three million. He's one of the top goal scorers in the league. And they're saying that he's worth a million. I am sure in this league, if we said Billy Sharp is up for for sale, I am sure someone will come in for at least two million, if not three million for him, because he's still scoring goals. That's the most valuable position in a team. All right, star. Next, Dean Anderson, a million. Get away, get away. The brightest, well, one of the brightest goalkeepers England's got to offer is apparently worth one million pounds. If he's worth £1 million, we'll start Man United's hand off right now. Like, give us, 
Give us the player. We'll give you a million. Give us the player. Friggin' hell, this is just stupid. This is stupid. Up to now, I've agreed with Egan. That's it. <laughs> Leon Clark, 750k. Get away. Get away. Leon Clark's worth at least a million. 100%. Oh, anyway, Ender Stevens, get away with your 750k for Ender Stevens. That's a joke. Ender Stevens had a quality season this season. And again, he's at least worth a couple of mil. Couple of mil. In this climate, George Bulldog, 750k. They're just pulling, they're just literally pulling prices out of air, are they? George Bulldog, 750k. They've not got a clue. John Lundstrom, 750k. John Lundstrom is worth more than Mark Duffy and Paul Coots. I know he's young. I don't know how young he is, actually. But I know he's younger than them. But come on. He's not He's not as good. He's not good enough for championship, even. He'll be, he'll be back in League One soon. Guaranteed. Next page. Come on. Disappoint me even more. Kieran Freeman, 750. They've just put all the fullbacks in together, haven't they? They ain't got a clue, really. Martin Craney, 750k. Can't really say much about that. I've, I've not seen him play much. Chris Basham, 750k. Just don't. Just don't do this to me. What are you trying to do to me? 750k. Why are they all 750k? They ain't got a clue, have they? I don't know where this has come from. I'm gonna have to have a look afterwards where it's come from. Simon Moore, 750k, that's probably about right. Maybe a million, because he's a very solid goalkeeper and I think he could still do a job in championship, if not for us. Next page, there's only two pages left, so I'm happy about that. Mark Duffy, 750k. The player that everything goes through for the team that is fourth in the championship. The most creative player for Sheffield United. Fourth in the league in the championship. The if on paper the 24th best team in England, 20 teams in the Prem, fourth in the championship. I'm a mathematician. So 750k for one of the most creative players in the championship. Well done. 400k, 400k for Paul Coots. Did they not see him a couple of seasons ago? And last season? 400k. I think Paul Coots would walk into a lot of championship clubs. But he's just got two very, very good defensive midfielders in front of him. Keen Bryan, 250 grand. Probably not. Probably a joke. Jake Wright, 200k. Jake Wright, probably Jake Wright would walk into a lot of mid-table to bottom of the table championship clubs. 200k. I'd pay 500k easily for Jake Wright. Who the hell is lower than Jake Wright? Jake Eastwood, all right, fair enough. Young star, 100k. Still, I've seen him play, by the way. Brilliant, brilliant website management here because that could be anyone. That could be Anderson. That could be more. Where's his face? Where's his face, the star? Wowzers. 100k. No, no. Oh, that's it. That's it. So, yeah. What a load of rubbish. What a load of rubbish. Let me just, they have added, uh, they have recently added both Gary Medina, Kieran Dow on loan deals. So Chris Wilder's squad now has a transfer value of 39.2 million. Using the website transfer market, we break down the individual market value of each player. So it's not actually come from the start, it's come from transfer market. Well, they're off their heads anyway. What a load of rubbish. Anyway, I feel like I've wasted my own time looking at this. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. 
To be fair, I enjoyed going through it, but it did trigger me quite a lot. So if you enjoyed it, please pop a like on it. If you're new around here and you want to see more Sheffield United videos, make sure you subscribe downstairs. And stay good, Nick.